Hello everyone, my name is Henry Li. We're, we're doing a live workshop on painting orchids in Gongdi elaborated style. Uh, we have a live model of the real flower here. I did a, a pencil sketch sketch uh, based on the real flower, but not exactly the same. We have to um, either add or deduct the leaves according to our ideal uh, picture in our mind. And uh, now I put a piece of uh, Japanese silk, uh, which is uh, anti-wrinkle uh, or wrinkle-free kind of heavy weight silk. And it's not uh, need to stretch or um, or tape uh, on you know the ink, the whole size. You don't need to, uh, that. It's not going to wrinkle. I just need to kind of position it based on the composition. So I use a small whistle brush with a little ink uh, to do the fine line first. And at this point, we don't really worry about too much. Um, like ink tonality, I think the leaf should be a little darker than the flowers, basically. So we can use a little darker. We start with a side leaf, just experiment. I'm still looking at the real flower, so we, uh, we don't uh, uh, paint in little strokes that you have to do it in a in one stroke, basically. Uh, we can do this one. Some leaves should be in the front of that, I think. So let me change the <laughs> idea. So I will reverse the order. I'll do this leaf in front of that. <laughs> Just make a right cross. Okay. I kind of uh, varied a little bit. Uh, I have a tendency of doing spontaneous painting because I'm a, I'm a spontaneous painter, basically. Um, so I, I need to indicate the back and the front relationship. You can treat a curve, a curve line in sections. So you don't have to do it in one breath. You can pass um, at some turning point. Some with hard turns, some maybe soft. But you you you, you don't have to paint, uh, you know, in, in one stroke. So I, I I kind of start and I, I look for other turning point. You can just kind of go fast and slow. Something like that. And the, the middle line to be also could be last and front line. I'm not very clear about this, but it curves like that. So there's a turn there. Okay, then do a little. You can use a finer tip, uh, uh, like the Gombi Niner, maybe a little more um, sturdy. <coughs> then do this one. So hard to the tip and then go. One is behind the that didn't finish this one in the front, this one behind. The front and the back relationship is crucial. I see there's a turn 
right there. It's on the back, so I have some soft edges, uh, lost and found edges. So this one in the front, a little more certain. This is a broken leaf right there. So it's an old leaf. Let's do a little thicker lines. Just kind of break. Actually, it's too straight. I <laughs> think there should be some turn. Anyway, so it indicates this is the other side. Okay. Let me do this. This guy, the main leaf. This one looking here. So this is the turning point. I have to do it in one stroke. Take a deep breath. You see, I purposely kind of leave the a little space, let the spirit uh, travel, and and uh, you you don't have to close that. I think. And this is another small leaf. Should be a little vein, not exactly in the center. That indicates the the curves, the turns a little bit. <coughs> okay, I add a little water to do the flowers, just make it tender. <coughs> I start from the top, I think. So two strokes per per bud. One left, one right. I leave it a little bit open. This is okay on top. And there's a little stand right under the bud. Some of them you can see, some not. This one, and the little stand. There's a center stalk, it's a thicker. You need to use heavier line. Okay, the short leaves cover the stalk. Finish the bottom part. The root uh, is covered with a moss, so you just we you know we're going to do a little bit suggesting of the part I think, this time. 
Because he was supposed to be more reali realistic. Then he was uh, this style, then the freehand style we did earlier. There's some chunk, um, kind of old uh, stamps that's nice. I think maybe we should indicate some of that. Just put, I don't have space for that actually. Just do some old. And this, this part. Then you should use a different thickness, maybe heavier line. And just omit in the bottom. The, the kind of line quality uh, goes with the object. Some finer, some heavier, this could be heavier. Okay. And we'll do the shading after the, this. The center line on the back is not so clear, I think. The, on the front, and this one should have some. Okay, <coughs> let's take a look. That's my brief sketch. I'm going to uh, do the shading maybe after you guys. I would uh, do another painting on, on paper, so like you, you would do with the cigata weave. Do we have another piece? I think. Uh, Okay, thank you. Uh, this is a cigata ring paper. We can use, uh, uh, we should use the shiny, shiny side, the side with sparkling. That's the, the correct side. You just do the same thing. You can you can put tapes on the corner to to uh, fix it. So I kind of draw the entire plan, and then I can uh, frame it with uh, this paper. Because I have a scroll that I think it's uh, roughly about this size, maybe. Uh, so we kind of go a little adjustment like that. You, you need to have enough room for the longest leaf, right? and then you fix it with a tape. Do you want to watch me doing it, this again? Okay, we'll just continue doing a paper outline work before we start. Go, go to the next step. So let me just start with the flower. You see, we have the sketch underneath. We need, we can start from anywhere if we you know, feel like. They are not bloom yet, so I try. I just keep the uh, same state of. Uh, flowers. 
you can make it room. I don't know how it look like. <laughs> Actually, it's curious. Um, <coughs> so we cannot really make up something we don't see here. Um, let me just change to darker leaf, uh, darker color for the leaf. Ink is considered as color. But we don't we don't need use pure ink. We don't we need pure black. Uh, just add some water to make it dark, dark gray. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do this group here. This this leaf is uh, kind of old with some interesting stains. I'll indicate that. So our line could go a little rough with this kind of leaf. And there's a broken leaf right beside that. So you can you can go off the lines. Maybe we should take it offline to take a call.